you know, the fullerene was discovered not in nanotechnology. It was discovered in 1990 when there was a era of boom of the superconductivity. Everybody was talking the superconductivity. It was discovered at that time. No. So the and the basic property of fullerene it is highly electronegative. When it is highly electronegative, it can very well combine with the first group element, potassium and rubidium. And they are the superconductors, so their TC is very small, that is 28 to 33 and 48. So this is the discovery of the whole. And now you see chemistry. Chemists are fond of two things. Number one, substitution reaction, and then analyze the byproduct. These are the habit of the chemistry people, chemist. The, the Izima, who analyzed the byproduct of fluorine, and then he found there is another material which is having different molecular weight and uh, having different properties, and he named, and uh, after studying its properties, he named it as carbon nanotube. The Izima who discovered who discovered the carbon nanotube, both single wall, multi wall, and Izima came in uh, last uh, month, in January, he came.